Hi family, welcome back. It's been a minute with the series of things I wish I knew before I got married. I have been MIA on that particular playlist, but here I am with yet another banger. So I, like I told you, I love to go through these things for you so that when you get married, when you get into a relationship, you don't have to go through these things. You have been warned. <laughs> if you're new here and you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you're a returning subscriber, you have subscribed, you have liked, you have commented on several of my videos. Thank you so much. You are the real MV. B. So thank you so much guys and today I'm going to be talking about how to deal with in-laws That's one of the things I wish I knew before I got married in-laws become a part of your life They are a part of your family whether you like it or you don't However pesky they are however annoying they are some are like really sweet But it all comes down to the fact that you can't avoid them in my language there's a saying that to meet your mother-in-law, you'd rather meet the grave. It is loosely translated to mean that people would rather live or deal with men who have deceased mothers in mothers who are technically your mothers-in-law. But guess what? At the end of the day, you're also going to be a mom to boys. So would you want to die before your time because your daughters-in-law don't want to deal with you? I don't think so. So guys, if you want to know all the juice on how to deal with in-laws especially the pesky ones then this is the video for you watch till the end like comment subscribe share with your friends who might need it and now let's get started number one way to deal with in-laws is to work in a united front work with your spouse and i'm i don't know i'm sorry if i'm going to be really bending this on in-laws of the man's side but those are usually the pesky ones the in-laws of the female side because they have been married into your family don't really you know come up with so much problems except Maybe wanting the man to help them pay school fees, blah, 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 blah. You know how African problems are. But mostly the issues come with in-laws on your husband's side. So I'm sorry if I'm going to be leaning this a bit on that side. But whichever way it works, the first thing to do is work with your spouse. Oh, like, let your spouse know how you feel about sister so-and-so. How you feel about his mama or how he feels about your mama. Like, you need to let him know what's going on keep him in the loop and also for the spouse male or female i mean be on your spouse's side this is your first priority she or he is the person in your life right now so you take his side or her side before you take anyone else's side because at the end of the day i may have an argument with my mother and she will forgive me and take me back but if i choose her over my husband if he walks out that's it you get that's it so it is important that because you have become one with your spouse you work together in a united front and that brings us to number two to set boundaries and limits let your spouse tell his family or her family that this is our stand as a new family we don't accept this kind of talk you can't talk about my wife this way you can't talk about my husband this way you can't talk about our kids this way you can't come to our house at this time. You can't come unannounced. Set those boundaries so that even when they see you from afar, they're like, oh, he's coming. She's coming. Don't talk about this. You guys zip. She or he will not tolerate this. So you have to set the boundaries. And number three definitely is to enforce those boundaries. Don't let your guard down, guys. If you have decided to come up with particular boundaries, our children are fed at this time, at this time. If your mother-in-law insists that the kids must come for holiday, she has to obey those rules and boundaries set by you as a couple. Number four is to communicate directly. Just come up. I mean, be open. Tell them this, that, that, that. You don't have to pretend to tolerate some of the things that you can't tolerate. If I, I had of a story, actually, of um an aunt of mine that's married somewhere and her mother-in-law didn't like the shape of her daughter's nose 
I mean, that's the point where I communicate directly and tell you, excuse me, I this is my child, this is my and your son's child, so guess what? Deal with her nose. So, there's certain things that you will not tolerate because even though she's saying those things right now and this child is really a baby, at some point she'll maybe say them out loud when the child is older. So what, do you have to pretend around simply because it's your mother-in-law? No, you must communicate directly and firmly and say this is something that I will not tolerate. I'm sorry if you're offended, but this is something that I won't deal with. Of course, that brings us to number five, be yourself. Don't force yourself to be who you're not, by the way, because people can smell fake from miles away. If you're not that type that likes to come around, do dishes, clean, what? Don't do it. Don't do it. If you're not the type that is, you know, so like in other people's business, you're always calling, texting, you're, you're like really talkative and really uh, good with communication and stuff. If you're not the kind of person, don't do it. Don't pretend. Let them know you for who you are. You're an introvert. That is who you are. You're an extrovert. That is who you are. You don't have to turn down yourself or hype overhype yourself just to please them because they will definitely love you for who you are so don't don't kill yourself my friend don't kill yourself be who you really are and number six tip which is also really like helpful to me is to try and fit in you because you've married this person you're part of their family they're part of your family try and fit in like be in his family be there like a sister be there like a daughter fit in if you find maybe um, your mother-in-law is trying to bake cookies, is trying to fix a meal, fit in. Just be like, can I help you with the onions? And try to form conversation. There'll always be things to talk about. Your sisters-in-law have like a kid's bath. They'll be like, can I come and help? Can I help you peel the potatoes? What can I do? Can I bring drinks? Try and fit in because this is your other family for life. And if you don't try to fit in, they'll also like throw you out. They don't have a choice. They'll throw you out. But also important to note is don't overfit in. Don't try to bring stories. Now, can you imagine the other auntie of yours? I saw her someday in town with another man. Don't try to do those things, my friend. They will chase you. They will chase you out of their family faster than you can say I. So fit in, but don't over try to push it. Number seven is learn to cool off and be easy. I mean they are in-laws who are pesky they are in-laws who will get on your last damn nerve there will be those sisters in law who will be asking you why you do not have male children when they don't even have a single child of their own there will be those brothers in law who will say you would put too much makeup when their wives are looking like mannequins just cool off just be easy take everything lightly because if everything that they say to you is taken like really personally, then you're going to have a rough time. You're going to always be annoyed. You're always going to be sad. You're always going to resent them. So just be easy. Easy. Take everything easy. And of course, number eight is be damn mature. Be mature about the fact that these are your in-laws and not your parents. Be mature about the fact that you can get up and get off with anything with your parents but you will not get away with things with your in-laws be mature enough to understand that your spouse will not and not and not ever neglect his siblings for you yes you may be angry at them for saying something you may be angry at your own siblings for saying something but it doesn't mean you're going to throw them away they're going to remain your family so be mature enough to know that you don't report your spouse to his siblings or to her siblings be mature enough to know that his mother will not be your mother be mature sister be mature bro that will not happen but brings us to number nine be kind love his parents ask about them ask after them care for them buy them stuff be kind to your sisters in laws children be kind be kind to his family be kind to the most annoying person in that family be kind it doesn't cost you anything at the end of the day however mean they are to you your kindness will always overshadow them so do not forget to be kind everyone is going through something there's a statement someone made that actually 
um, warm my heart. They said hurting people hurt others. I think it came from Joyce Meyer. Hurting people hurt others. So sometimes his family is hurting you because they're going through some hurtful situations. Maybe his sister chooses to hurt you because her own husband is hurting her. Maybe she's hurting you because she wants a girl and you have only girls. You can't have a boy. You're not yet having a boy. So she's hurting you on those grounds. She has her own issues she's dealing with and you are like the scapegoat. So just be kind. And lastly, but not definitely not the least, keep your sense of humor. It, there's nothing more exciting than being together with your family and his family or her family and no one can even tell the difference that you're a son-in-law or a daughter-in-law. Like you blend in so easily. Keep that sense of humor and trust me, you will always be the life of the party. Everyone will want you around. No one will look at you like the outsider. You will always be in their good books. So guys, thank you for watching. This has been fun and I hope you've learned one or two things. This is not the end of things I wish I knew before I got married. I think I have like two other episodes coming up and I hope that you watch them. You can watch the whole playlist. I'm going to leave a link to the playlist down in the description box. Don't forget to like, comment and share and keep it with live, laugh, love with JK. Until next time, ciao, ciao.